Hello, welcome, take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so they tell us that the graphs of these two equations are drawn on the same set of axes and they want to know one solution is one of these points. So we have a parabola and a linear function here. Let's solve it algebraically and on the calculator. So in both cases, uh, these things are equal. So at some point, x squared plus 4x minus 1 will equal to write, rewrite this equation right here. So it's subtract 3 on both sides, and we get y equals x minus 3. So at some point, x minus 3 will equal y, and x squared plus 4x minus 1 will also equal y, and those y's will be the same. So if I subtract x on both sides, I get x squared plus 3x, and if I add 3 to both sides, I get plus 2, and that equals 0. And then I can factor this into... Um, x plus 1 times x plus 2 equals 0 and that means x could be negative 1 and x could be negative 2 and these are the x values here if x is negative 1 the output would be I plug negative 1 here negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4 and that's choice 2 I can also plug in negative 1 here the one, negative 1 squared is 1 minus 4 is negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4 is the same thing there's another point where they meet, but let's look at both here on the calculator. So I go to y equals and I cancel off any old equations. I can enter my parabola, x squared plus 4x minus 1, and my linear equation, x minus 3. And I'm going to press zoom 6 to get a standard zoom on my graph as the parabola. There's the line, and they're intersecting over here. It's a little hard to see, right? So I'm going to actually zoom in. And then all I have to do is pick a center point to zoom from. So I'm going to kind of scroll over to that spot. Uh, so go here. Get a better picture. There's the parabola. There's the line, a little bit better. I hit second trace, go to choice five for intersect. And Right now I'm on the parabola, so hit enter. I should jump to the line. There it is. Hit enter again. And I'm going to scroll to the point that I'm interested in. So it's negative 2, uh, negative 5, which is uh, almost what they have here for choice 1, but in the other order. And then if I hit second, trace again, I go to I kind of go over to the other point where they meet, which is like right here. I'm on the first curve, enter, go to the line, enter, and then I'm going to guess. About there, to enter, and I get the other point, negative 1, negative 4, which is the choice that we found. We could have found the other choice by plugging in negative 2 to either side here. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. So the other point where they meet is when you saw on the calculator there. The input's negative 2, and the output's negative 5, and negative 1, negative 4. So you just plug these x values into either side of our original equation or either original function here, and you'll get the output. All right, hope that helped.